Right, so what I've got is the Petromax uh, LE14 coffee percolator. I went for the stainless steel option because I prefer stainless steel over aluminium for the obvious <clears throat> health concerns of that. I'm realistic to know though that at some point in my life I'm going to come into contact with aluminium cooking utensils, but if I can reduce how much I do, then all the better. So I bought this myself and I'm going to do a quick review on the actual percolator itself. As you can see there, stainless steel construction, it's got a nice Karen handle on the side there. You've also got a good ladle handle on the top. Very sturdy construction as you expect from the Germans. It's got a 2.1 litre capacity and do 14 cups of coffee. So that's the outside shot there. So that's the internal working parts of the percolator. You see it's stand there with a coffee catchment area on the top. And obviously you'd fill in the main part of the kettle with water. Once you fill it with water, and it starts going up the spout and soaking through the coffee grinds, whichever coffee grinds you prefer to choose. Today I'm using Dead Mammoth Coffee Company, it's a veteran owned company, so always support our veterans. Great coffee, and I'll be doing a cover of that shortly for us to enjoy around the fire. So that's the internal and external workings of the actual kettle itself. So this is the view inside the kettle itself. Now there's no obvious markings for me to tell me where to stop filling but I'm guessing that if I do it to where the spout is that's a good indication that I've got the 14 cups. I'm putting in two litres of water here. So that's gone over the spout, so you can probably fill it right up. So, next part, the coffee part. I don't quite see it, but you will in a minute. That smells really nice. So good quality coffee. And then if the, lid, if the wind's nice to me, I can put the lid on. Just pat it down. And then bring this up, open it up, place that in, close it up, And then it's ready to be deployed to the fire.
So the percolator worked pretty well, very happy. The handle, believe it or not, wasn't that hot and I was quite surprised at that. It was, it was, I could touch it, I could lift it up, I could use it. There's my cup. Good stuff, just the right kind of drink to turbocharge me ready for today's cooking marathon. Doing a Christmas turkey. Me and John, you probably think we're a bunch of fat bastards for uh, the quantity of food we got here, but we're gonna obviously take it home. It's nothing better than food being cooked on a campfire, you get that lovely smoky flavor. I've mentioned that before. So yeah, happy days. Good coffee, good start to the uh, day. And I uh, look forward to hogging out later on on a Christmas dinner. Cheerio.